And, and why, um, why uh, the woman like the foreigner? Because uh, a lot of foreigners will say, oh yeah, it's just for the money. What do you think about that? No, I don't think it's about the money. We really like to date with someone from other country because it's someone different, you know? Alors bonjour et bienvenue sur cette nouvelle vidéo Yes, les gars Et que vous allez bien depuis la dernière fois, n'hésite pas à t'abonner, cliquer sur la cloche, tu connais déjà si tu viens d'arriver, même abonne-toi Voilà, t'inquiète pas, ça va bien se passer. Ici, c'est Jonathan Hachi, l'idée de la chaîne pour te permettre d'être déterminé, passer à l'action, créer ta vie sur mesure et pour ça, il y a deux choses que je te propose. Mon étude de cas où je te montre comment j'ai fait 20 cas en une semaine, t'as déjà vu plusieurs de mes vidéos, pourquoi tu l'as pas encore prise Voilà, tu sais que alors, le, bon, les nouveaux, voilà, arnaque, arnaque Calme-toi un peu Hein? Déjà, regarde déjà. Après, tu verras si c'est une arnaque. Et deuxième chose, euh, c'est ma formation Pirate Marketing où je te montre comment faire 5 cas au minimum par mois. Et dedans, j'ai rajouté des bonus complémentaires sur l'e-commerce, sur investir dans l'immobilier, investir dans les startups, investir dans les crypto-monnaies, sur le personal branding. Et en plus de ça, si jamais tu passes bien ton CPF, ok, tu auras accès à du coaching. Qu'est-ce que tu veux de plus Hein? Donc si jamais tu veux en savoir plus, tout ce que tu as à faire, c'est cliquer sur le lien qui est dans la description. Tu mets ton numéro de téléphone, il y a un membre de mon équipe qui va te rappeler. C'est sans engagement, c'est gratuit, ok Si ça ne t'intéresse pas, bah, tu diras merci et tu raccroches. Si ça t'intéresse, on t'accompagnera à euh, monter ton dossier de A à Z et on te donnera les accès à Pirate Marketing. Mais après, il faudra charbonner. Ça, c'est la base. C'est le plus facile, ça. Hein? Les réponses, c'est le plus difficile euh, d'acquérir la formation. Non, non. c'est après. C'est juste le début, les gars. Se former, c'est constamment, c'est continuellement. Tu t'arrêtes jamais de te former. C est, c est, tu peux pas. En fait. C'est plus tu vas apprendre de nouvelles choses, plus tu vas augmenter euh, tes finances. C'est basique, c'est simple. Si jamais tu arrêtes d'apprendre, bah, tu restes au même niveau. C'est comme quand tu es dans le salariat. Si tu arrêtes d'apprendre, bah, tu, tu connaîtras pas plus. Voilà, c'est du bon sens. Mais des fois, j'ai l'impression des gars euh, sont prompts à crier à l'arnaque, mais là-dedans, c'est pas très. Hein j'ai l'impression qu'il n'y a pas de lumière. Hein. Bref, passons directement au sujet de la vidéo. Donc les gars, petite vidéo, je fais un petit, un petit essai parce que je suis en train de me dire mais quelle vidéo que je pourrais faire aujourd'hui Je dis mais attends, mais on va faire du recyclage <rire> Tout simplement Donc comme tu le sais, j'ai ma chaîne anglaise. J'avais fait un petit vlog quand j'étais allé au Mexique où j'ai essayé la nourriture euh, euh, mexicaine. Euh, donc du coup, je te partage ça. Donc du coup, c'est full anglais. Donc euh, bon, on va sous-titrer évidemment. Donc si jamais tu aimes bien ce, ce format-là, mets un petit j'aime, même si c'est en anglais peut-être, bon, mets un petit j'aime et un j'aime pas si jamais tu n'aimes pas, ok Donc je te laisse enjoy. Welcome to this new video. So today, guys, yeah, I have my mask because in Mexico City, we need to, we need to have the mask. Only in, uh, in the mall and um, what to take the Uber or something like that. So today I will uh, try the Mexican food. You know I love Mexican food, you know. Everything is spicy, I like it. So Mexican food is definitely that I like. I'm with, I'm with uh, Rachel. Hi, nice to meet you. As, uh, she she speaks English, that is really comfortable for, for the video. Of course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, uh, Rachel, what's, um, what's the type of food? For, Yeah, what's the type of food um, yeah. when someone come here and need to try? Well, I think the first is pozole, but if you eat pork, it's fine because pozole is made with pork. And the second for me is enchiladas verdes uh -huh. because everything in Mexican food is with tortilla and chili. So you can eat um, or flautas or tacos, but I think the first is pozole and the second enchiladas verdes. Okay, so we will see. We will try the name of the... What's the name of the restaurant? We will, we will... Uh, El Barrio. El Barrio. Okay, so El Barrio is a restaurant. Uh, it's a resta it is a, a restaurant where you can uh, eat uh, a typical uh, uh, food. So, uh, we will try the famous uh, tacos maybe. But I already tried uh, the tacos. I can tell you here the, the tacos then. Wonderful. So Starbucks is everywhere. I like this uh, franchise too. Madonna everywhere. You know the vibe. So this is the restaurant. Cozinas Mexicana. Ah, but there are a lot of people. So this is the name of uh, the restaurant in 
mayo. También le comparto que el día de hoy estamos sufriendo un hotel. So this, uh, this restaurant you can find it everywhere, there are a lot, it's like a franchise. So today I'm, I'm in uh, Parque Delta, it's a mall. It's like a, a big mall in uh, Mexico City. So yeah, it's a cool place. So, well, this is the entra, uh, this is the starter. How do you, how do you eat that? It's like, it seems like a tacos, pero tacos, how yeah. tacos? Es a tostada. It's the same thing as tortilla. And we put lemon and sauce. It's a traditional sauce. We have three types. Green, uh, red, and one yellow. And you need to ask before it because some of them are spicy. Okay, it's really spicy. Yeah. And do you like to uh, eat spicy? Yeah, I'm Mexican. Ah, of course. <laughs> Yes. Like me, like me, like me. So I will try. It. My favorite uh, salsa is uh, the sauce. It's um, uh, the red, the red one. I like it. And I'm a Mexican. I'm a Mexican. So Richel, show us how to. Okay, we need to start taking your tostada okay. and after we put some lemon. Okay. Enough lemon. Okay. And you need to put sauce. How much do you want? Uh, that's okay. Okay. Woo. And this is how you start. Gracias. I like it. This is the menu, but honestly, I don't know how to take. I have the same tacos, I think. Yeah. I, I know it's uh, nice. Steak. Tell me, um, what um, what do people think about the foreigner uh, in Mexico City? I think Mexican people like people from other countries. We really like to know about the culture, the food, the music. But also, we, we try to make them feel comfortable here, you know, like uh, we are family, we are friends, so for example, if you arrive to a party, someone who tell you like, oh, uh, nice to meet you, or let me know if you need something, we really like to find people. Okay, okay. And um, what about uh, to have a relationship, for example? Um, how? Like um, generally, the, the woman here uh, like to have a boyfriend, foreign boyfriend, or yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. I think most of the girls want to have a relationship with someone from other country. Also, we are very open, like a woman, to know people from other uh, places, to know the family. But I think. We have a problem when we know people from other countries because they don't say, they don't have the same activities or they don't give the same importance, for example, to the family. You know, so for us it's very important the family. Oh, okay, okay. And and why uh, why uh, the woman like the foreigner? Because a lot of foreigners will say, oh yeah, it's just for the money. What do you think about that? No, I don't think it's about the money. We really like to date with someone from other country because it's someone different, you know, and you are able to know more about other places with this person, you know. I think it's like an experience to be more open to the world. So, this is my point of view, but I don't think it's about the money. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, more, it's more like... Uh... It's about the personality and the knowledge that you can have sharing the time with this person.
Also, for example, most of them want to try new languages, so it's um, a good opportunity. Yeah. I, mean, I can understand, it's like exotic. Yeah, exactly. It's exotic, it's the same, uh, it's the same thing for, for us. Yeah, also it's like, for example, like a Mexican woman, we have a group of friends and we share the, the love history with them. So if you are dealing with someone from other country, your friends is like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And they feel like jealous, but as a friends, you know, it's like, oh, I want to be with someone. Maybe you have a friend, let me know. So it's like, uh, you feel like it's special. And um, what's the other difference? Because you, you talked about, um, Generally, the foreigners don't really have the same value, family value you have. Uh, I know uh, from experiences, the uh, Latin girl really, the whole Latin people really mm -hmm. are really family oriented. Uh, there is um, other, or there are, there are other um, value is different from the foreign, uh, between the foreigner and the uh, I think um, the respect is, um, maybe we have respect, you have a respect and I have a respect. But the, the way that we understand the respect to each other is different, you know, for example, for us it's very important to have the... Um, Thank you. Wow, we have a taco. <laughs> As for me? Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Uh, so for example, for us, it's very important to introduce your boyfriend or the, the guy that we are dating to your family, you know, because your family is like, um, they want to protect us, you know. So if you are dating with someone and this person doesn't accept to know your family, for us it's like uh, very, very respectful, you know. We don't like it and we feel like uh, they are taking us as a game. So of course it's not, it's not good. But I think the other difference between foreign people is about the um, body contact, you know? Mexican or in general Latin girls will really like to be touched and touch the people to feel love, like a hugging, taking a hand. So most of the, the person from other countries doesn't have this kind of attitudes and I think it's something cultural. But for us it's like you are rejecting us, you know? So it's very important to have uh, this kind of situations. Because uh, in my case, or in my experience with my friends, they broke up relationships because the guys from other countries doesn't touch them, you know? They, they don't hug them. So I think this is the most difficult. Ah, interesting, interesting. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for being here. I will try my tacos. Mm. Okay, so I will try. So. What I need to, to put? All, all, the, all the, the continent? Si. <laughs> you can use your head. <laughs> really? You can see it's like the tortillas, tortillas, the chicken, salmon, different uh, sauce.
So apparently I called her tacos but she didn't appreciate it and she tried to explain the difference. Yeah, it's a difference. We have the same tortilla but it's a different name. So for example, this is tortilla but if you eat like this, it's taco. Okay. If you put something inside, it's taco but you need to eat like this. So if you eat something like this, Inside you can put chicken or something like that and after sauce, mm -hmm. this is enchilada. Enchilada, okay. This is not the same. And if the tortilla is in this way but it's large, uh -huh. the name is flauta. Uh -huh. Also, it's like a big taco. Okay. Yeah, so we have many types of Hispanic kind of food but it's the same sauce and tortilla and chicken. Okay, so what's the name of this one? This is the enchilada. Enchilada de mole. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if um, if I I will like it because it's like you need me. to try. Yeah, yeah. It's not for me um, because I like cheese. Of course, I like cheese, but chocolate, something chocolate composed. Chocolate con and chili. And chili and chicken. Wow. Okay. What do you think? It's interesting. <laughs> it's it's a like good, but I'm really bothered with uh, the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, it's like um, it's like sweet. Yeah, but it, but it tastes good. It's good, but I don't think it's just my favorite. <laughs> so let's try this one. Try. Also, you can put lemon. Ah. There you go. Do you like it? Yeah. 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 Mm. Eso es. I'm a real, a real Mexican. <laughs> Thank you. What happened? Is this a real one? I caught your face with the water of Jamaica. Like that. It's not good. Your face was very interesting. Well, I'm going to ask you. Do you want to speak English or Spanish? Well, well, I mean, oh, I'll repeat again. So, Richel, um, there are only you speaking English or there are other people? Ah, that's a cafe or Jarry. Or Jarry. Okay. Gracias, okay. señor. So, I just ordered a cafe. It's typical de Mexico. Cafe. ¿Cómo es? How do you say it? Cafe de olla. Café de olla. Café de olla. Café de olla. Este ya no se le ponga azúcar, ¿eh? ya viene enchufado. ¿Sí? Ya no le pongas azúcar. ¿Sin azúcar? Sí, pruébalo. Ok. Mira, so, like, so, you know, tell me. Sí, él era lo que tell me, you tell me I need to, to, to try it without uh, sugar. But normally I don't really, I'm not a fan of café. A coffee, sorry. I'm not a fan of coffee. So, I will try it. I will tell you. Is there a lot of sugar? No, try uh, canela and piloncillo. Oh, okay. Piloncillo is like a natural sugar. It's natural sugar, okay. <laughs> well, it, that's good, huh? Yeah, but it's really, it's really, really, yeah, there are a lot of sugar, but it's not sugar, she told me. It's like. It's piloncillo. Know, canela. Mm, I like that. So tell me, uh, Richard, there are a lot of uh, people speak English here? No. Only you? No, not only me, but most of the people that doesn't speak more than one language. Yes. So guys, thank you for um, uh, watching this video. Smash the like button if you like this kind of video. and. Uh, if I see you really like it, I will try to do another another video 
like the same way. So I will finish my uh, coffee. How do you say that? Coffee? Café de olla. Café de olla. So it's like coffee de olla. So thank you and we will see you later. Peace. Donc voilà, bah c'est tout euh, pour euh, euh, la vidéo. Si, N'hésite pas à me dire si jamais tu as aimé. Si jamais je vois que vous aimez, parce que j'ai fait une autre vidéo avec euh, cette demoiselle. Hein, et euh, si jamais tu veux la voir, c'est une vidéo où elle parle des, je pense, des relations mexicains. Qu'est-ce qu'une femme mexicaine recherche, tout ça, machin. Mais je pense qu'on en a parlé dans le vlog un petit peu. Mais j'ai fait une vidéo vraiment euh, dédiée à ça avec elle. Donc euh, si jamais euh, ça t'intéresse, dis-moi ça en commentaire, mets des j'aime. Si je vois que la vidéo elle performe bien, eh ben, euh, je traduirai aussi euh, l'autre vidéo. Okay Donc les gars, et si vous voulez en savoir plus sur le secret de la nature féminine, tu connais ta Zeus. Hein, C'est la base les gars, il faut, faut connaître le secret de la nature féminine les gars. Okay et pour le prix que Zeus est, est les gars, euh, c'est cadeau. Hein et donc les gars, on lâche rien et on reste déterminés. Il y a eux et à nous. Je suis allé ton camp.